Hi, I'm Linda, creator of information about arthritis. If you are new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button below and then click the notification bell to receive notifications of new videos when they are released. Also, don't forget to visit my website, Food with Arthritis, where you can find out more about these terrible diseases and download free articles. Arthritis, bursitis and tendonitis all have similar symptoms of the ability to interfere with your everyday tasks. All three cause pain and swelling of the joints, but the symptoms are slightly different. Osteoarthritis is wear and tear of the cartilage around your joints that eventually decreases, until you have bone rubbing on bone. Bursitis happens when the bursa, which is a tiny sac, stops the tissues and joints from rubbing together, which causes inflammation. Tendonitis is when the tendons, which attach the muscles to the bones, become inflamed and painful because of overuse. When you have a healthy joint, you will have cartilages that covers the joints and stops them from rubbing together, but when you get osteoarthritis, the cartilage will wear away, therefore when you move your bones will rub together. If you have rheumatoid arthritis, it attacks the immune system as well as the lining of the joints. Another type of arthritis is gout, this is where you have too much acid in the blood, which leads to acid crystals in the joint area. People that have arthritis have painful, inflamed or flare-ups and swelling joints. Or rheumatoid arthritis can attack your immune system like your heart, kidney etc. It can also attack your joints. The symptoms could be a mild ache to a sharp pain. That occurs in your spine, knee, hips or shoulders, but can travel anywhere though at your body. In my case, I fell on my right knee 40 years ago, leaving me with right hip replacement and arthritis in both knees, hips, shoulders and hands. The next disease is bursitis. This is a painful swelling in a small sac that is full of fluid, which is called a bursa. These bursas cushion parts of the joint that may rub on your muscles, tendons, or your skin. Bursitis attacks the joints, that you use a lot and put pressure on, such as your shoulders, elbows, knees, feet, hips, and even your buttocks. The symptoms can be like arthritis, where it could be pain, stiffness and swelling. The tendons are like elastic tissues, that connect your muscles to your joint bones. You develop tendonitis when you do repetitive actions, like playing tennis you could get it in your shoulder, or you could get it after an injury or develop it into old age. Home Remedies Arthritis When you have severe pain, then you should rest with a heat pack or hot water bottle. This helps to relax the muscles and the pain will decrease. If you have a flare-up or inflammation, or swelling, you should use an ice pack. This will help to decrease the swelling and therefore, the inflammation. But never put it straight onto your skin. Managing your weight is important as you are putting more pressure on your already, unhealthy weight-bearing joints, such as your hips, knees and feet. When you are overweight or obese, it would help if you went on a diet, but going on a diet, you should be aware of foods to avoid as they will increase your symptoms of arthritis. You should avoid at all types of sugar, saturated fats, added salt, red meat and much more. Exercise is also essential, I know that you are already in pain, but exercises will keep your joints from stiffening up. It would help if you exercised each day. This could be walking, swimming or going to the gym and using their treadmill, or cycle machine. You could also have acupuncture done on your joints. I started to do this but it got too expensive. Meditation is another way of relaxing the pain, by reducing the stress and helping to cope better. Bursitis When you develop bursitis, you could have discomfort from the pain. The following remedies are things to help with the pain. The first one, is to rest and stop any activities that make the pain worse. You could get over-the-counter medication, like aspirin or ibuprofen gel to relieve the pain, but always consult with your doctor before trying anything new, as it may not be good for some of your medication. Heat packs can help with the joint that is affected and reduces the pain. Just apply one for about 20 minutes, or if the joint is swollen and inflamed, you should put an ice pack on the joint, which will help to reduce the swelling, but never put straight onto the skin, always wrap the ice pack with a towel. If your knee is in pain you should elevate the knee, this will reduce the swelling. Tendonitis With tendonitis, you could have sudden pain or it could be gradual over time. The remedies for tendonitis are to ease the pain and discomfort as in bursitis. You could also try acupuncture, 
for a short time, but as I said earlier it is very expensive, or a specific massage, that does stroke actions in a perpendicular direction of the tendon. This is called transverse friction massage. Herbs can also help with painful and inflamed diseases, such as white willow herb, this helps with pain and inflammation. Curcumin in turmeric is another healing herb. And there are many more herbs that can help, but consult with your doctor, if you want to take any herbal supplements, as they can interfere with other medications. The conclusion is that any type of arthritis is an incurable disease that has your joints in pain, swelling or inflamed. You can do some home remedies that can help to keep the symptoms at bay. For example, if you are having a good day, you could do low-impact exercise like walking. This helps to keep the joints moving for as long as possible, or if you have a bad day, you should rest with heat or a cold pack. If you are thinking of changing your diet, want to go on supplements or even change your exercises, you must see your doctor first. I hope this video has helped, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and receive notifications when new videos are released.